course, people in our country today, on the whole, are working every day. But they are earning wages so low, they cannot begin to function in the mainstream of the economic life in our nation. That was 44 years ago. A genuine leader is not a searcher for consensus, but a molder of consensus. A nation or civilization that continues to produce soft-minded men purchases its own spiritual death on the instillment plan. A nation that continues year after year to spend more money on military defense than on programs of social uplift is approaching spiritual doom. A right delayed is a right denied. A riot is the language of the unheard. All labor that uplifts humanity has dignity and importance and should be undertaken with painstaking excellence. All progress is precarious and the solution of one problem brings us face to face with another problem. An individual has not started living until he can rise above the narrow confines of his individualistic concerns to the broader concerns of all humanity. An individual who breaks a law that consensus tells him is unjust and who willingly accepts the penalty of imprisonment in order to arouse the cons consensus of the community over its injustice is in reality expressing the highest respect for the law. Gandhi said that too. Change does not roll in on the wheels of inevitability, but comes through continuous struggle. And so we must straighten our backs and work for our freedom. A man cannot ride you unless your back is bent. Or darkness cannot drive out darkness. Only light can do that. Hate cannot drive out hate. Only love can do that. Discrimination is a hellhound that gnaws at Negroes in every waking moment of their lives to remind them that the lie of their inferiority is accepted as truth in the society dominating them. Every man must decide whether he will walk in the light of creative altruism or in the darkness of destructive selfishness. Freedom is never, never voluntarily given by the oppressor. It must be demanded by the oppressed. We have not come to such an impasse in the modern world that we must love our enemies or else. The chain reaction of evil, hate begetting hate, was wars producing more wars must be broken or else we shall be plunged into the darkness of the abyss of annihilation. He who passively accepts evil as much involved in it as he is in it as he who helps to penetrate it, he who accepts evil without protesting against it is really cooperating with it. History will have to re record that the greatest tragedy of this period of social transition was not the strident, clam the strident clamor of the bad people, but the, the appalling silence of the good people. Human pro progress is neither automatic nor inevitable. Every step toward the global of justice requires sacrifice, suffering, and struggle, the tireless exertions and passionate concerns of the de dedicated individuals. I am not interested in power for power's sake, but I am interested in power that is moral, that is right, and that is good. I believe that unarmed truth and unconditional love will have the final word in reality. This is why right temporarily defeated is stronger than evil triumphant. I have a dream that my four little children will one day live in a nation where they will not be judged by the color of their skin, but by the content of their character. I have a dream that one day every valley shall be exhalated, every hill and mountain shall be made low, the rough places will be made straight, the glory of the Lord shall be revealed, and all flesh shall see it together. I look to a day when people will not be judged by the color of their skin, but by their context of their character. I refuse to accept the view that mankind is so tragically bound to the starless midnight of racism and war, the bright daybreak of peace and brotherhood can never become a reality. I believe that unarmed truth and unconditional love will have the final word. The ultimate measure of a man is not where he stands in moments of comfort and convenience, but where he stands in times of challenge and controversy. Whatever affects one directly affects all indirectly. I can never be what I ought to be until you are what you ought to be. This is the interrelated secure structure of reality. Seems like you're on the Right. <laughs> right?